what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Katrina and I am super excited for this video so since I posted my desk tour I've realized that it's actually been quite a long time since my last room tour video I think the last one I did was probably like three or four years ago and my space and style have completely changed since then especially since my home office and my bedroom are now the same room so I thought it'd be a fun idea to film an updated room tour slash home office tour video and I also hope that this video serves as inspiration for those of you who also live in a small room where you have to work and sleep in the same space and with that Let's get started. So we're starting off with this corner of my room because you have all seen it in the desk tour video and if you haven't seen it, uh, click the cards and it'll be right there, you can check it out. But this beautiful desk right here is my battle station. I did make a few updates since the desk tour. The big one being I actually switched the monitors so that the big monitor is right in front of me and then the little ones off to the side. And the reason why I have it like this is to just like switch it up and also after thinking about it, it just didn't make sense for the small monitor to be in front of me and the big one off to the side. It was, it was, it just, it didn't make sense. I also got some new plants for my desk. I have a four inch Bella Palm. I have the small terra terrarium, terrarium. I have the small terrarium that I got for my sister that I'm nursing for her. And then lastly, I just got this yesterday, but I got a new plant. This is a Calicia Repens Bianca plant. And I just got it yesterday from Groovy Plants Ranch um, and they shifted it to me and I'm just I'm so excited it's so pretty and when I first got it it was like super droopy but now that the Sun is out they are rising towards the sunlight and I'm very happy and I'm just I'm so excited <sighs> calm down Katrina so I didn't talk about this next part in my desk tour video but we're gonna go through it here this is my lovely trusty shelf of things and <laughs> and as you can see there are a bunch of random things on the shelf but I'm gonna tell you right now, there is a method to this madness. So starting with the top shelf, I have a lot of my toiletries and like bags, like reusable bags that I could use to put the toiletries in. And then I have like my jewelry storage up here and like things like lotion, dry shampoo, and like deodorant and stuff. In these drawers, I have all of my miscellaneous makeup. My vanity is actually on the other side of the room and I don't want to clutter up that area, so in the shelf it goes and then I also like to store my tech on here when I'm not using it so like my cameras my external hard drives my extra batteries um, I also have my top favorite books that I have in here that I just love to like look at and read I also have this bowl of tea bags and hand sanitizing wipes maybe they shouldn't go together but you know they're they're there and then in this next shelf down i have my big ass printer this printer has been with me since college and i don't have the heart to get rid of it because sometimes i'll need to print stuff so i also have binders of old records and old paperwork that i need to keep and then behind there i store a lot of my miscellaneous tech stuff so all of my cables lenses camera bags my ma mice mouses mice and then I also have extra art supplies and canvases and paints and it's just the bottom two are just storage things that I don't really grab that much so it's not really that important. So we have my cart and this cart I, I love so much. This is probably the best purchase I've ever made. It's from Ikea and it is a utility cart and I use it to store so many things so the top compartment i use it to store all of my office supplies so it has all my journaling markers my pens pencils um i have notebooks in here and like a lot a lot of junk mail and some stationery i have tape my scissors for the most part this is where my office supplies go um oh and i have hand sanitizer and then the second compartment has all of my snacks. I don't have too much in here, but I do have some Belvita bars and um, some vanilla wafers, just as a quick snack for me to grab and go before a meeting. If I don't have time to run outside to grab something, I'll just leave some stuff in here. And then the bottom compartment holds all of my planting supplies. So I have my soil here, some jars, extra stones, extra pots. Even though it wasn't intended to be a plant compartment, it just ended up working out that 
that way because I have nowhere else to put my plant stuff. And then we get to this lovely table right here and it is my plant table. It was supposed to be my bedside table and then I rearranged my room for like the millionth time and now it's just a side table with plants. I like a little propagation station in the back. Um, I have my money tree because your girl's trying to get that money and pay off her student loan debt. My money tree has been thriving lately, so hopefully that's a good sign that your girl's gonna be debt free soon. I have a Cal and Chloe plant that I got from Castroville. And then I have this Pilea plant and it's not doing good. Like, I don't know what happened. I think I overwatered it once upon a time, but now it's okay because now I got some new growth. But look at this leaf. It's so messed up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like, this... This plant all of a sudden became temperamental on me. I just need to give it its space. And then I have a fern here that's clearly dead. Um, but I keep it because I have nothing else to put in it. So, yes. And then I also keep a bag of soil with me underneath this table because I like to pot in my room for some strange reason. Because I'm too lazy to go outside. So I just... I use my battle station to pot stuff. I don't, I don't know. All right, so now we are in my favorite part of the room, which is my lovely wall right here. My gallery is what I like to say. I keep a little calendar here to keep track of super important dates. I also have some really cool artwork up here. These two paintings are from one of my students. Her name is Casey Landis. Check her out, linked down below. She is an amazing artist who paints a lot of florals and nature. I also have this little tiny, tiny piece of artwork from an artist named Alyssa Neshim. She makes like tiny watercolor paintings in these cute little frames or portals. It's just a really cool concept. And then lastly, I just, I want to talk about this baby right here. This piece is the newest addition to my wall. I am so proud of it and I love it so much. I got this gorgeous minimalistic map of Santa Cruz, which some of you all know is my absolute favorite place in this world. If you've been following me for a while, I went to UC Santa Cruz. I spent four years of my life in this place and I did a lot of growing and had a ton of life change experiences in Santa Cruz so this place holds a very special spot in my heart. I got this map from a company called Mapafall and they actually reached out to me to collaborate on this video and kindly sent me this map of my favorite place. So shout out to you Mapafall, thank you so 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 much for this. So if you're not familiar with Mapafall, they are a super awesome company that sells various personalized maps to allow you to capture special places, moments, and milestones in your life. You can make a classic map like the one I have here, a star map, zodiac, and even text art. The design process is super easy and fun. You can zoom into a specific part of the map, look up certain dates and coordinates, and even customize the style, colors, and font of your map so that your design is truly unique to you. This is a perfect way to spruce up your walls or give a gift to your loved one. Mapafall also offers free shipping worldwide, so that is a plus. Since it's back to school season and a lot of you who watch my channel are college students who are either moving to be closer to campus or sprucing up your workstation for distance learning, Mapafull has created an exclusive back to school kit just for students. It's full of bullet journal templates, lists, a mood journal, some coloring pages, and a calendar. All my planner junkie friends have just entered the chat. So if you want to grab this kit, once again, for completely free, just click the link in my description and it's yours. Also, if you're not a current college student, that's okay. I'm with you on the alumni train. You can still grab the kit and enjoy all the journaling fun. All right, so I hope you all just grabbed the back to school kit just now because we are moving on to the next part of this room. All right, friends, so we've made it to my closet and there's honestly not really much to see in this closet other than the white walls of the doors but this is a double sized closet and it's it's been it's been really nice actually I'm, I'm not even gonna lie about that I'm just gonna open it up for you please don't mind the mess so on this side of my closet I keep all of my blouses nice shirts my dresses and my rompers and also some accessories like scarves and I like to keep them on this side because I tend to reach for this side more often than the other side and then I also have a lot of stray notebooks and clutter and things that I don't want y'all to see. So I'm just going to close that right back up. And then on this side of my closet, 
Here's the other side. So on this side of my closet, I have all of my jackets and coats and all of my heavier items. And since it has been consistently around 80 to 100 degrees in California, I don't really um, touch this side of my closet. So yeah, I'm just gonna close that right back up too. So next up is my dresser area slash, I like to call it my zen area. And so basically this is kind of like my vanity. So I store all of my current makeup that I'm using. Um, as well as some stuff that I have gotten from trips. So I have some crystals that I've collected from different states and different trips. I have some sage and some jewelry. And then I have some fake orchids from my mom, some dried flowers from a way long time ago. And then I love how I decorated my walls in this corner. So here I have this yarn macrame of the Tree of Life. I got it from Carson City, Nevada. I have this foam letter board. And then I have a super dead and dried out air plant. Lastly, I got this painting from an artist at the Lantern Light Festival. So this piece is hand painted by the artist and I just I love it so much and then lastly we have my bed so this is my bed it is my resting place my Zen place where I unplug and just recharge myself and this bed came with the room actually I believe it's a queen size bed and the mattress is still super comfortable despite it being here way before I moved in and of course I went for the all-white aesthetic although I did go a little crazy last year and I bought pastel gray sheets and pillowcases so call me crazy but i felt like my bed was too white you know like too clean i felt like it needed a little bit of texture and a little bit of color to spice up the bed a little bit oh and also i have my friends in the back but for real though it is plushy nation back there i'm not ashamed to admit it you're never too old for a stuffy and also i got most of these plushies from fanime con so fanime con stop having plushies man it's it's all your fault they can't resist sometimes i'll use them as pillows and like sleep on them but they're mostly there to guard my stuff from falling off the side of the bed because there is a huge gap between the actual mattress and the wall because the bed frame kind of gets in the way so that, that's what they're there for so after this bed that's pretty much it for this room tour because next to my bed literally is my desk so my workspace is literally right next to my bed and it tortures me every single day so on that note this pretty much concludes the room tour i hope you all liked it and got some inspo with how i arranged some of the stuff or inspiration on how to not arrange your stuff but if you did get inspiration from this room tour please give this video a like and also let me know down in the comments how do you decorate your small space do you use a lot of storage a lot of shelving do you have a lot of tables a lot of stuffies plants i love to know how all of you are decorating your rooms but with that if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and also check out the description for more info Info on what I mentioned in today's video and lastly I just want to give another shout out and huge thank you to Mapiful for collaborating with me on this video and also to you for watching this video and clicking on it for being a part of my community I would not be here without you and I never forget that so once again thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye Ooh.